Welcome to the Step 1 Review Study Guide. In this lesson, we learn about chromatin structure, the different types of chromatin, DNA and histone methylation, acetylation, and deacetylation. The structure of DNA in all of your cells exists as a condensed form called chromatin that enables it to fit in the nucleus. DNA wraps twice around a histone octamer in a structure called a nucleosome which looks like beads on a string. The H1 histone is the linker of the nucleosome which stabilizes the chromatin fiber. The phosphate groups in the DNA backbone gives it a negative charge. Amino acids, arginine and lysine give histones a positive charge. It is during mitosis that DNA condenses into chromosomes. Histone and DNA synthesis happens during the S phase of the cell cycle. DNA encodes everything in the cell, however, an exception is the mitochondria. The mitochondria have their own DNA that is circular and do not have histones. There are two types of chromatin, heterochromatin and euchromatin. Heterochromatin is highly methylated and not very acetylated, making it very condensed and thus appearing dark under electron microscopy. Because of its structure and being highly condensed, heterochromatin is not transcriptionally active. Bar bodies are regions of X inactivation and also appear in this region of the chromatin. Bar bodies may be visible on the periphery of the nucleus. Remember that heterochromatin is highly condensed. Euchromatin, on the other hand, is less condensed, sterically accessible, and is thus transcriptionally active. Remember that U is the prefix for good. Euchromatin is the good chromatin because it will be transcribed. Another way to remember is that euchromatin is expressed. DNA methylation is the input of methyl groups on the DNA. This makes DNA more condensed and thus less active. DNA methylation is involved with aging, carcinogenesis, genomic and printing, transposable element repression, and X inactivation. Methylation in the gene promoter CPG islands normally represses gene transcription. Remember that CPG methylation makes the DNA mute. Histone methylation is different from DNA methylation. Histone methylation can suppress a gene reversibly, but in some cases it can also cause activation. Remember that histone methylation mostly makes the DNA mute. Histone acetylation removes the positive charges on the histones. By removing the positive charge, DNA coils relax and transcription increases. Remember histone acetylation makes DNA active. Histone deacetylation is, you guessed it, the exact reverse of acetylation. Histone deacetylation removes acetyl groups, tightening the DNA coils and decreasing transcription. This is all for lesson of step one review. We'll see you in the next video.